Porter, can you say hi? Porter, who's on your shirt? Who's on your shirt? Dad. Who is that? Dad. Is that Mickey? Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Oh, I got like hair in my face. Um, I haven't vlogged in a little bit, so thought I'd pick up the camera for today. We just got finished eating lunch. We had some macaroni and cheese. I usually make that about once a week. Um, and I eat a little bit of it too, because it's pretty good. Fun fact, I don't, if you watch my like first couple of vlogs, you would know, but when I was pregnant with Grayson, that's all I craved was mac and cheese and pop. I don't know, I can't remember if it was like a specific kind of pop, maybe it was, but yeah, that was like my craving. I didn't crave it with Porter, but I don't really remember if I had any like specific cravings with Porter, but with Grayson it was mac and cheese. So anyway, we just finished lunch. We're just kind of hanging out. Porter wants me to pick him up. Grayson is on my Snapchat. Uh, snapping my sister Allison. He likes the chicken nugget filter. They have like a filter you can be a chicken nugget at McDonald's and he loves he loves that one so he's playing with that. Um, we are continuing to paint our house. We are almost finished with our bedroom. We just did the second coat. We've got one more wall to do. Um, a second coat on and then it'll be done. Last night Anthony um, was working on filling in holes and just like nicks in the wall. So our wall kind of looks a little mismatched. So here's our wall. It's got like white patches everywhere and then like that whole corner needed work. So yeah, we have to paint that. We were waiting for the filler to dry, which it has. So now we need to paint that. So yeah, painting is going well. After we finish the bedroom, which I think we'll finish it tonight, we're gonna move on to the guest bathroom because it's red and yellow. I'll show you it later. Um, I had some extra paint on my roller last night, so I was getting uh, the bathroom a little bit, but um, we have that one. And then Anthony thinks we should do the hallway upstairs it's like this dark brown color i don't feel like it's bad like it's neutral ish but anthony thinks it looks bad with like gray everywhere else so we'll see who wins that argument i think anthony might win it um <laughs> i think it might depend on like how much paint we have left we finished our huge bucket of paint and so i went back to the store and got two more gallons so um yeah we'll see where we are after we finish the bathroom but we are almost to the end of painting. I just can't even believe it. And then we need to work on the tile in the master bath. One of the tiles um, like split apart. There was like water damage before we even moved into the house. And then over time, it's just like worn away at the tile. So we need to fix that. Um, and unfortunately, like we can't find the tile that was used. So we just basically have to replace the whole floor, which thankfully our master bath is super tiny. I hate it that it's so tiny, but it's nice to redo the floor. So that's the next project after we finish painting. So just always a work in progress here. But um, another reason I wanted to film other than giving you an update on the house was today is uh, a start of something new. So Grayson is going to start swim lessons today. So this is something I've wanted to do for a while. I mean, he's four now, but it's been really hard to find affordable swim lessons um they have it through like our local ymca and like our local rec center but the problem is is like the signups get taken so fast you have to get on at like 6 a.m and then if you miss it you have to wait like a whole another like two months until signups happen again the other problem is like these swim classes are so small obviously because the instructor can only handle so many kids at a time so usually each class is only like four kids and that's it. So there's really not a lot of signups available. So I've been waiting and trying to get into the YMCA or the rec center, but I've had no luck with it. The big push right now, like why do it now, is in a little over a month, we're doing our trip to Florida, our Dustin vacation with my side of the family, and we're taking the boys. And at the house, there's a pool. And we're just a little worried. Drowning happens all the time with kids. It's not when you're swimming with them, it's when you're not in the pool and the kid slips away and then they think they can swim and then they find out they can't. So that's making us a little nervous. We're also going to the ocean and the beach, but obviously like he won't be unsupervised there, but you just never know anything could happen. You take your eyes off a kid for a second. There's gonna be a lot of us there, so there'll be a lot of eyes, but 
it just can happen. So we're making the push now. We've got a little over a month to go. So hopefully at least by the time we go, like he'll have be able to flow. I, I really don't know like what the order is that they teach kids on how to swim. I took swim lessons when I was young. I think I was older than Grace when I took my first swim lessons, but I mean, I don't remember what they taught me. That was forever ago. So we're going to go. It's this little swim school. It's just up the road. So super close. They have a little like window up above that where parents can sit and like watch their kids so porter and i are gonna watch him from above and cheer him on i think porter might get a little jealous because he wants to do everything grayson does i wasn't able to find any swim lessons for porter at his age they really only do like parent and child swim lessons um and the place that we're, Grayson's going to, they don't offer it right now. So I'm still debating on whether I wanna like do that or not for Porter. But with Grayson, he's gonna start. So hopefully he does well. I'm a little nervous just because he doesn't do that great at soccer, but I'm right there. So maybe because I won't be in the room with him, like he won't see me, maybe he'll pay attention more. I don't know but it's worth a try. So thankfully my mom's gonna help me out and pay for it a little bit because these swim places, while are awesome and have way more availability, you have to like pay for a membership on top of the already expensive class. So it just came out to be a lot of money. So my mom's going half in on me with me and helping me out. So I'm really thankful for that. So I will vlog a little bit of Grayson at his swim class. I think in his class, there's only like one other little kid. I don't know, I have to see how it is. But I think his class is only up to four people. And when I signed him up, there was like three other spots open. So I think it won't be that many kids. But we will see. I'm excited. Um, a little nervous. But um, I had to go and get him swim goggles. Um, so I went and ordered that quickly off of Amazon. Thank goodness for Prime. And obviously he has swimsuits. So hopefully it goes well. But we will see. Um, pretty gloomy day out today, so it's nice that we have something to like do. Otherwise, it's like cold and cloudy, so we probably won't do much outside today. So we've just been hanging out, trying to clean the playroom, but the boys keep making it a mess. And Yeah, so it's been a good Wednesday. Gray had preschool yesterday, and they learned about the color black and the number 10, so we made a ladybug. And he has preschool tomorrow. They're gonna make salsa. They're reading a book called like Chicken and Salsa or something like that. So um, they're gonna make their own salsa, so that'll be fun. And then next week is his last week of classes. He only has three more days of class. He has tomorrow and then two classes next week and then he's done. So it's crazy, I just feel like the school year went so fast and summer is approaching and it's exciting, but it's also kind of like, oh, there goes our routine on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so. At least it'll get warmer. I can just take the boys to the park a lot more. Or maybe we'll start utilizing um, story time because I really haven't while Gray's in preschool. So maybe we'll just do a lot more story time over the summer. But yeah, what are your summer plans? Do you have any vacations coming up? I'm really excited um, for this Dustin vacation. And then Anthony's been talking about maybe us going on vacation with his side of the family um, sometime this summer. So I think it's going to be a busy summer for us. So I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Grayson's in his swimsuit and his sandals. Where are we going, Grayson? Where are we gonna go? To preschool. Not to preschool. You don't wear your bathing suit to preschool. Where are we gonna go? I'm Florida. <laughs> We're gonna go to swimming lessons, right? Yeah. You're gonna learn how to swim? Yes. <gasps> Yay! So we're about to leave in a couple minutes. I've got Porter, he's in Anthony's car. This is his favorite thing to do. He likes to sit in mostly Anthony's car, but sometimes my car, and he will just <laughs> pretend to drive the cars, and he thinks that's a lot of fun. So like I said, we're about to leave to take Gray to his first ever swim lesson. I'm super nervous how this is gonna go. I just know sometimes Gray needs to work on his listening skills. I'm just nervous. I just hope he does well, because I just feel like his behavior is a reflection on my parenting. And I swear I'm a good parent, but sometimes my kid doesn't listen, and he's four. But, uh, so hopefully it goes well. Hopefully Porter, um, does well we'll see if not I do have my phone I can put on something for him to watch but uh, hopefully he'll just be entertained just walking around or looking at the kids swimming or something so I hope it goes well we'll see I'm super nervous um, I'll definitely vlog while we're there um, and show you guys what what a swimming lesson looks like so here we go 
I'm nervous, so send some good thoughts our way. Well, can you tell that it's bath night? Yeah. Yeah, Porter went a little crazy with his ravioli. How did it get in your hair? Day. Yeah, did you put the ravioli in your head? Oh boy. Hat. Yeah, that's Hat. messy. Hat. Hat. Yeah, oh boy. The mama. Mama, yeah. We are back from swim lessons. I caught a couple clips um, that I'm sure already inputted. Um, Grayson did really well. He loved it. He can't wait to go back. Gray, did you go swimming? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. What did you do at swim lesson? Yes. Did you jump in the pool? Yes. Yeah, and you worked on floating? Yeah. And did you blow bubbles in the water? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, so it's good. It was only a half hour, so they only can teach you so much. Plus, there were three other kids in his class. So it's like a lot of time it's just him like waiting or observing the other kids. But it was good. Um, we'll see how long it takes him to learn how to swim. But it was good, and he loved it. He wants to go back, so we'll go back next week. It's just once a week, so very low maintenance. And he got a sucker at the end, which he loved. He loves suckers, so that was like one of his favorite parts too. But it, overall, it was good, and yeah, we'll just keep at it. So that was a success, and now I need to get the boys in the bath. I just cooked, I'm making pork tenderloin. So I have that cooking right now, it's roasting in the oven. Um, and I need to get these boys in the bath because you saw Porter, he needs a bath. Yeah, just a good first day of swim lessons. And we'll just see where it takes us. Um, they had kids in there that were like in the swim, they had like swim tanks where it's just a t like a rectangle box and they just have water like flowing. So it's just like mimicking like swimming in a, like a long pool. So that was pretty cool. They had a couple kids doing that. So we'll see how far Gray goes with it. But as, I just want him to learn how to swim. Anything above that would be awesome. But we'll see how long it takes. Here, I just wanted to show you guys. Here's the start of the bath. It's funny, it's on two different walls and it looks different colors, but I swear it's the same color. The boys are in the bath, but I won't show you because they're naked. We're just doing bath time right now. The boys are in the bath and I'm just sitting here watching them. Grayson's squirting Porter. Squirt Porter, squirt him again. He says more please. I'm just sitting here waiting on houses to come on the market. Nothing's really piqued my interest this week again. The second week in a row that no houses really have come on, so I feel like we missed our chance. I don't know. Well, we've tried all we can, so we just have to wait for more houses to hit the market. It's just taking a while, but anyway, we're just having a bath. We're gonna take a night off of painting. Anthony's gonna go hang out with his friends, and then we'll be back at painting tomorrow. Yay! But that might be it for this vlog. If I think of anything else, I will um, video it for you guys. But thanks so much for watching. And make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Say bye-bye.